So for this video I will be showing you guys how to switch your PlayStation Network account. So maybe you signed into an account and you've decided you want to switch it to a new one. You can always switch it back as well. There is this really useful app that lets you do it very quickly. So what you guys want to do to start this off, you just want to go ahead and open up a Vita shell. Next we need to connect our PS Vita to our computer. So what you want to do, press select, either connect it via FTP or USB connection, it doesn't really matter. So let's go and connect it now and I will show you guys what we have to do. Okay guys, so I will leave a link in the description to the advanced account switcher. And what you guys can do is scroll down and we just want to grab release version 1.2. So just click on this link right here and it's actually going to download the VPK for us. So once we've got this VPK, what you guys want to do next is just go to your downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in there. Now if you're using USB connection, you can simply just drag and drop it across. But because I'm using FTP, I'm going to transfer it using FileZilla. So over on FileZilla, I'm just going to go and connect to my PST right now so what you have to do is enter in the host and the port and then I'm just going to click on quick connect click on OK and we can actually connect to it so this file and um, the VPK file is just going to go straight into the UX0 so just drag and drop that across there you go all files have been successfully transferred let's go back onto my PSTV and let's install it okay guys so once we're back and we have got our file let's just press circle on this let's go into the UXO and we can go and find it so it's um, this one right here advanced account switcher version 1.2 so we're going to press X X again and we can actually just install it so once it's done installing let's just completely close out of each shell and we can go and find the app on our home screen so here it is the advanced account switcher we can just press X to start this up so guys, once this page comes up, what you need to do is scroll down to the second option and press X on remove the linked account. They will say account data remove. You can press it twice, it does exactly the same thing. You then want to scroll down and you want to press X on run PSN sign up application. Let's press X on this and it's going to give you an error message. Um, all you have to do is just press OK. It doesn't really do anything. And what you can actually do is create a new account or use an existing account. So if you press X on, actually maybe I can create one. So if I just press on it, X on this, as you can see, I can go through the whole setup process and actually create a new account. So I'm just going to um, enter this information. And yeah, you guys can do this as well. And you can basically just create a new account. Now guys, as soon as you create an account or sign into an existing account, um, you want to just click on OK and then it's going to just jump you back out to this screen. So you just want to hold circle to close this off. And now if you guys go up and you start up your system settings and what you want to do is scroll down, press X on PlayStation Network and now you want to press X on sign in. It's going to come up with the email address you just entered, maybe the password as well. You want to press X on OK. It's going to say please wait and it should actually sh sign you in without any issues at all. So um, it says please wait for a bit, sign in, press OK. Uh, friends list, uh, you can just you know do um, no one, you can just set this to whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Press on X on OK and then it's going to say please wait again. And then there you go, I'm actually signed into my brand new PlayStation Network account. And there you go guys, that is how you switch to a PlayStation Network account. And if you guys want to switch back to your original one, that will also work. You guys can open up friends. And if you're wondering about apps like Hencore and stuff like that, these will open perfectly fine um, with your brand new account that you just signed into. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I think maybe my Hencore just crashed. So I might have to reload that. <laughs> yeah, it crashed. So let me just try that again. Hencore 2 does actually crash sometimes. Um, this is the main problem with it. So um, after this Hencore 2, I'm actually going to install Enso on this because um, this PlayStation does actually have uh, 3.65 over on there. But there you go, guys. That is the Advanced Account Switcher. Probably one of the best account switcher apps. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.